Come with me and you'll see such imagination. Welcome to Navra. Let's go and have a little look around, shall we? Yes, here we are in the new map. The new map that you are going to be getting your greasy little mitts on. Yes, this is Nava. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little wander around. Have a little look-see at this map and see what we actually think about it. Do we like it? Have a look at some of the buildings and things. Now, there's not a huge amount of... There's not a massive new feature set, should we say. But there are a couple of things in here that I am going to show you. But overall, we're just going to have a little... Look around the map, because this really is... 9.6 is really all about the optimization for squad. So you should find that it runs like butter off a knife. A hot knife. Like your knob up a hot swimwear model. Straight in, job done. So, speaking of minge, we can go straight over here and have a look at this mini nimi nimi As you can see, it's a fruit and veg shop, so that will do me nicely. Now, this whole um, map gives me a very Russian vibe. There is a map that's in Project Reality uh, that gives us... In fact, we'll go by truck. Uh, there is a map, I can't remember the name on Project Reality, but it has definitely got a very Russian vibe vibe to it so i'm going to come in here and we are going to go all kits available and we're also going to be coming in here and we're going to go to vehicle claiming vehicle claiming one and there we go so now we can get in this bad boy there we go we should start her up now, I have been told by somebody else who's in testing that there's now lockable squads. And I'm not quite sure what I think about this, to be honest with you. In fact, you know what? Instead of going by truck, why don't we just, with the power of magic... Let me just get out of here. If I can remember the bloody key. There we go. So this is the map. Uh, it's very sort of rural on the outside here. We've got lots of barns and little sheds and things to be fighting over. And uh, what we'll do is actually, while we're flying over here, we shall can have a look at the map. So as you can see from the map here, it's not the biggest of maps, but it is quite open. There are some nice large open areas down here, down this river, down this side as we come down to the south open areas now this is going to be awesome for the saw gunners and the rpk especially when the bipods come in and we get weapon resting you really are going to be able to lock off some of these areas and some of these roads here um again with these open areas are uh, going to be great for infantry fighting and well as the vehicles um vehicles are going to have to really get some infantry support here and vice versa. Usually the infantry want to go in first, the vehicles want to stay a little bit back. Now, as we get round this map, let's just have a look, we'll head further into the town here to some of these objectives. You can see they are quite close together. There's something that's really been bothering me about Squad recently. And it's definitely changed, and I re I'm sure I know the reasons why they've done this. To me, the lighting is just horrible now. It feels like there's something missing. Um, I, it's, it's hard to put my finger on it. It's almost like they've, they've, they've stripped a lot of the lighting back so that the lower, the lower people with lower rigs are not going to suffer as much. This, this, I mean, this is only my opinion. This this might not be right. This I could be completely wrong. It just feels to me like almost like the global illumination or something is missing. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels the same way as I do. It just feels like something's not quite right. Now, you will have seen in the trailer that I posted earlier, as we come further over here, we've now got these high-rise blocks here. Very rusky sort of thing. You've all seen these videos of the Russians getting absolutely mullered. Uh, these are the sort of places they all seem to be hanging out of. And this is the actual place on the trailer where they all came in. And again, now... I know it's optimization, but they just it just everything feels a little bit basic to me. I'm sure you're gonna to say to me, Parrot, it's all about the gameplay. It's all about the gameplay, and it is, and as you know, I'm a I, I am a massive advocate for squad. 
I have been since day one. I am a founder and a backer, and I put some big moolah down for this game. So don't think that I'm slagging the game off in any way. It, these are just my opinions from being here from day one. It just feels very cookie cutter, if that makes sense. You know, if this is supposed to be a war-torn war city, then... Do, do you know what I mean? It just feels very not war-torn. And I know we, we can be very, very spoiled from um, Battlefield 1, uh, Battlefield 3 and the other games, and they've got mass destruction as well. It just feels to me like... I don't know, am I getting long in the tooth? I don't know. You know, some wind or some environmental effects or something just to add that little extra finish. The maps just feel unfinished. I know we're in alpha. I know, I know we're in alpha, so we shouldn't complain too much. But this is going to give us a little overview here. There is actually one objective which is going to be probably in this shed here. So as you can see, it really is wide open here. Um, great places to play down with a saw, the 203, etc, etc, for the sharpshooters. I also know that the VSS um, sniper rifle is also had an extra buff on the standing. So when you stand up now, you do get some st stability bonus, whereas before it was quite terrible and not many people used to use that weapon. Um, so yeah, this is the basic map. This is Navar, Navabar, or however you pronounce it. But it's going to be quite a lot of action in this map. Whether there are different variants of this, different game modes, I'm not sure whether there's Insurgency and all the other game modes. But uh, definitely got a Rus Russian feel to it. You are going to be playing as, on this map, yeah. if I just kill myself, you are going to be playing as the United States or the Ruskies. So those are the actual factions that you're going to be playing on. I'm going to jump in now and have a look at a new feature that's actually going to be coming with 9.6. Let's have a look. So one of the new features that I'm actually going to show you here is I am basically here as the rifleman. Nothing special, just a rifleman within the squad. And if we come through the options here, and we get down to the e-tool, as they're now calling it, or the shovel, as I would have called it. Let me just bring that up for you. It's the basic shovel. You will notice now that the infantry, if I press it again, we get some sandbags. Now, I'm probably too close to the spawn here, so let's just run down a little bit away from the main base and see if we can put these down again. Is it going to allow me? No. Why are you asking yourself? I actually do not know the answers, so we are just going to keep running a little bit. Maybe we're too close to the main base still. Or do I have to crouch? No. Well, do you know what? I'll work this out for you. I'll cut this little section out. There we go. It was actually because I was too close to main. Um, and all I literally did was press the sandbags. It went green and it placed it down. So once you put your sandbags down, it's going to be a matter of building your own defences. Now, this is absolutely fantastic for the infantry. No longer do you need to keep asking the squad leader, can you put down some sandbags, can you do this? The infantry can go off into a place anywhere on the map and actually put down their own sandbags. Now, I think that's probably going to be about as high as it will go, but let's just keep shoveling this. Yes, that is as high as it will go. So the infantry can now put down sandbags, which is fantastic. That is a really nice feature, and as we go into the kneeling position, you can see... Perfect line of sight. And I've got cover now on here, because otherwise what we would have to do if we were covering this, as you well know, chances are we are going to be here. Prone. Or we are going to be doing this thing, which I think is a bit ridiculous, because the amount of recoil on these weapons, you would not really be doing that unless it was actually a matter of life and death. So that's a new feature for the infantry, for the regular soldiers. The ability to be putting down sandbags which is absolutely fantastic. Just to give you a little bit of info, because I've actually done a little bit of asking around, the map is actually based on Estonia. So there you go, this is actually based on a real place. And word on the grapevine is that we're going to be getting the British forces and version 10 within the next two months. So you heard that, you heard that here first. And the British forces are actually going to be starting off with the... 
LE85 A2, and we will be getting ACOGs. Exciting times, so new things are coming. I think basically 9.6 really is more of an optimization pass with a new map thrown in just to keep the community, keep them at bay, because obviously we've, we've been teased with the animation system and we wanted to get in there and try all this free look and everything else, and it's a massive job. I'm fully aware of that. As you can see, the light it looks very flat here with the grass and everything. Um, but you can never complain. You know, we got new maps, new content. Everybody loves Squad that I know of. We're just waiting for this new animation system and everything else that's going to be coming with it. But this has been a first look at Estonia. Nava in Estonia. And this is going to be the new map that we're going to be fighting on. And you're going to be playing as the Ruskies or the Americans. And any new Squad content is good content. Before we go, let's just see if they've updated anything with the grenade damage or the smoke. I'll just have a little look see at that. Again, to me, I'm going to say this as a backer. It feels to me like the effects on the grenades and everything else has been reduced so much now that... If you'd seen these and you hadn't been there all over the months, you'd probably think this was fantastic. But it just feels like everything's been stripped back, which is such a shame because it used to look so beautiful. But anyway, we complain not. I mean, para players, this is 9.6, and the version that you're going to be getting, could it be Tuesday? Could it be Friday? Could it be Tuesday after? I can't tell you. It's coming real soon. I'll see you in another video. Coming real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I ain't got a gun, so I'll have to be a cup of coffee.